Hey guys, Scrublord here, and welcome to another episode of Scrub Souls. In this episode, we'll be taking on the Man Eaters with an SL1 character in Pure Black World Tendency. And I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the most bullshit fights I have been through in all of my Souls runs and all of the different SL1 runs I've done. Uh, this was really, really frustrating, and, and not really in a good way. Um, but the basic thing I'm doing here is I'm using the Clever Rats ring in order to get some boosted damage at the beginning. Um, when I get them down to one man, man eater, I go ahead and heal up. The boosted damage is nice, but being able to take a hit is even nicer, and I didn't want to give up a victory. Um, so I go ahead and heal up in the second phase. First phase, just trying to get this guy down. Um, I'll show you one of the strats that worked out well for me. I want to go ahead and try to bait out this guy's charge attacks, and he keeps flying away from me. Watch out for All of his spells, all of everything he does if you're using the Clever Rat's Ring um, will kill you in one shot, so you've got to be careful here. It's really important that you try to get, take this guy down as fast as possible. It's very, very hard to fight two of them at once. So I'm trying to bait out that charge attack as much as possible. And dodging either backwards or kind of to the side and backwards in order to put myself in a position to actually be able to punish it. If you just dodge the side, he'll often be too far away from you. Here you can see I went ahead and healed up. I'm sacrificing a little bit of damage here, um, but it allows me to take a hit. And well, right there, that would have been the end of the run if I hadn't healed up. So and that was pretty lucky there. Uh, same thing. This guy's got a little bit different pattern as far as how he flies around, but that the strategy for beating him is going to be the same. I'm going to try to get him on the ground. I'm going to back up and try to get him to charge. Take two hits when you get directly behind him like that, but for the most part, stick to one hit at a time. He will charge over you if you take a second hit, and that's often the end of you, even in the second round, because he'll just queue up a second charge and take the rest of your life. The two hit slam, you want to watch out for. Again, that would be death number two, and that was almost uh, death number two, even though I managed to get healed up. Now, I was watching a video, I don't remember who it was, but they were able to punish that where he's flying at a fairly low altitude. I was unsuccessful in doing that. I mostly just get away and try to get him to land. Sometimes pulling out your catalyst and shooting at him a few times, though, will bring him out of the sky, and that's a good thing. Almost fell off there. camera this is just terrible and you can get stuck on pillars you can get stuck right in the fog gate it's just uh, there's a lot of things to be frustrated with in this fight and it took me a lot of tries close all right so there she is uh, the man eaters with an sl1 in pure black world tendency like I said, one of one of the most frustrating fights I've ever done in all of the Souls games, as many SL1s as I've done. Uh, there's a look at my character, and I'll go ahead and show you the world tendency.
all right well thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe and uh, I'm gonna go back to streaming this because I don't think it's gonna get much harder than I just went through um, so go ahead and leave a sub and uh, turn on your alert button and you'll see when I'm uh, streaming this I picked up a few more games too I got Shadow of the Colossus uh, Eco um, several other games that I picked up uh, uh, used and new today so I've got lots of stuff to stream see you later